Living life with Donna, and today I'm trimming the watermelons and looking at the beans. It's real hot today, and uh, you know, I only get to a little time. So, yesterday, uh, I stayed inside, wasn't feeling too good, and Molly the other night wasn't feeling good. I don't know, maybe if any of you can tell me, she gets where like she does like these heaves and constantly wants to go out and then eat grass like she's gonna puke, but she don't. But anyway, so we were kind of in the house all day yesterday, and um, so today I figured I would trim up these watermelons because I do have several blooms and I want to see what the beans are doing. And, um, I mean, we have slews of tomatoes, probably going to give a few of those away. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So, okay, I got another little baby cucumber, but they're so delicious. Um, I put some more dirt in here because uh, it wasn't doing too good. Of course, the squash, absolutely, I don't know if the animals got it, but it did absolutely did not go. So, these are those beautiful little like tea roses. They're so pretty. And get these weeds out of here without getting pricked. But um, I did trim up the beans. I kind of got them up. I got blooms, and I do have a few. Uh, I got a few little beans on there somewhere. But I had to put like two or three. I put Missouri Wonders a couple times uh, before they would go. There's just a little baby bean. Um, but I'm trying to get them to stand up so that they don't get, you know, any water right under there. And I'm about to get wet because it's so hot. I put this up here, got the, I added more dirt to the um, watermelon. I trimmed it up really good, like the vines that were not viable that didn't have anything on them. And so I'm gonna give everything a good water. I need a good water, cause I'm dying, it's so hot. So let me go turn this hose on. So that's what I got so far uh, and the reason I trimmed them up is because those did not have blooms on them so I'm trying to strengthen the blooms I had one and then I was saving it and then of course it fell and broke so All right, I got the hose on. I got everything trimmed up. Uh, I put extra dirt in here um, because I cleaned it. It was over there and I just cleaned it up over there because I'm gonna have to put the greenhouse over there because we're gonna put up a little pool. So I put all this here. I got rid of that that was in that yellow container because it was just it was just gone. And uh, I still have to trim up the carrot tops. Uh, cherry tomatoes are coming. Look at these beautiful tomatoes. We're giving some to some family and friends. Um, and so everything's looking good. Get this water really good. I, I would have watered tonight, but I didn't really water last night. So, but I got myself wet. It's just everything is just... Look at those. Can you see those jalapenos? They're just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I've had bees buzzing around here. Yellow jackets, which I don't like. Let me see if I can drag this hose. I don't know why I'm having a hard time. Oh, it's, it's stuck. Jesus. God, hang on, that's, that hose is stuck. I wish somebody could invent a hose that didn't get stuck and that worked, that didn't crinkle. 
All right, I did get the uh, watermelons trimmed up um, and the beans. I decided to put the strawberries over here so that it's like partial uh, shade, partial sun because I got the umbrella up. So I wanted to get those over here, make it look a little neater. I put more dirt here in the uh, watermelons and I cleaned it up. That's looking good. The peas are looking good. Um, I put more dirt in the cucumber. And the hose is not cooperating. It wants to twist. And if it, I'm already wet, so it doesn't really matter, but. You get the watermelon and the cucumbers over there. Put more dirt in that. Just get everything really soaked. I swear I had no idea that it was supposed to be this hot today. I'm going to get over here and get these beans. You see, I tried to pick them up so that they didn't get water rock. So just give them a good, give them a good drink. The watermelon a good drink. I cut the grass. Get over here, get this. So I kind of got everything a little bit more organized because we're going to get rid of that picnic bench to make room for the pool. Get this all. I mean, there's some stuff I still have to tie up. It's got another creek in it. Um, there's some stuff I still have to tie up. Uh, but I'm, I'm exhausted, so I don't know if I'm going to finally can do so much. I did not trim that cucumber yet, and that's the cucumber that I started from seed. So... I don't see any blooms on that one yet, so we're going to have to check that out, check into that. Let's this table off. I'm going to move that um, little greenhouse because we're going to put that, just as a little blow-up pool. It's nothing, you know, nothing fancy. Here's my pile of stuff. And uh, so I, I arranged this uh, to make it look a little neater. Uh, because we got that grill, even though we haven't used it, and I don't know. Got those wood chips, I like to keep them wet. Put some more dirt in here. Nice pepper, you can see the blooms. And uh, I still have stuff outside to get yet, you know, with the community garden. I have to make uh, my sign yet. Uh, but I've been so busy. Get that all. There's our celery. I mean, I can't believe summer's almost gone. It just goes by so fast. This is the volunteer today that I have to tie that up somehow. I'm going to have to find some, some stakes for that. Everything else is looking really good. i got to tie that tomato up. So I might do that before I go out to the community garden. I, I can't even... If I wish I could show you on the film how many pollinators... I got, I mean, they're just everywhere. I do have some yellow jackets, which gets on my nerves. Um, but they're everywhere, so. I try to keep the weeds down, you know. Um, so everything is, is really, it's starting to come in. I think I'm going to, I have two containers. Put my feet. I have two containers. Um that the stuff did not make it so I think for those containers I'm going to find some fall crop um, that I can you know that I can put in there with that a little bit okay now I'm gonna stick this hose over the fence so I'll be with you in just a minute Before I uh, go to the community garden, um, I had I got myself wet obviously, and I, I gotta have a freezy pop. I'm it's I'm so parched. Um, oh my god, it's so good. Lime. I was wondering if anybody, uh, you know, maybe how was your garden going? Did you, you know, how was things going with you? Did you, were you able to plant stuff? Are you getting a harvest? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. And I'm going to eat my Freezy Pop. And then I'm going to go to the community garden. I'll be right back with you. Trimmed up. 
everything is looking good I trimmed all the tomato leaves and put it in a compost to my girlfriend so everything is looking good like and subscribe if you like this video I hope you show me what kind of stuff's in your garden so beautiful peppers marigolds and if you could smell that mint it smells so good so I trimmed up over here picked all those tomatoes up so they weren't on the ground and just trimmed everything up so made a little seeding area over here moved everything around and got the tomatoes there so I'm gonna go to the front yard now but uh, like and subscribe if you like this video it's just a little something about the garden and if you've never planted marigolds you should really give it a try thanks for watching